Okay, <clears throat> let's start the show. Good afternoon, Money and Life Movement. JJ Ramos here with another live feed, welcoming you to Patreon and welcome again to random to JJ's random thoughts. Damn, I almost, I almost, I almost missed that. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna deviate a bit from the SOP. Uh, I got a new SOP for you guys. Here's how it goes. Hit that thingy over there. Bottle on the screen. Hit the bell. And comment done. Right? Put your put in the comment section below with the word done. Once you're once you hit subscribe and the bell, go to the comment section and leave the word done. Okay? So that's how so that's how it goes before we get into the nitty-gritty of things, all right? In order for you to stay loop with my channel, don't forget, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and comment done. Okay. <clears throat> now, what are going to talk about? Okay. This, this one's good. This one's good. Now, <clears throat> I got a burning question for you guys. Okay. If you're a network marketer and you're following a binary compensation plan, which do you prefer? The organic way or a technique called power legging? Okay. <clears throat> they're currently following a binary compensation plan. So that's why I'm asking you this. That's why I'm asking you guys this. With that in mind, here's my backstory. I'm uh, before my current never marketing business, I was rather hesitant to to get into a binary compensation plan kind of network marketing. But as um, time went on, as the years went by, I slowly realized its value, right? Its earning potential. Okay, this, and I just decided uh, several years ago to try it out. To, uh, to basically try it out. I've seen two ways to to make it go. Organic and power legging. Now, organic means you have to uh, sponsor people and place them and place them in both legs. Okay? Binary compensation plan. Okay, let me give you a quick overview of the binary compensation plan. In a binary you only got two people under you, technically, right? Now you need to have, now a company needs to run special to, special software to keep track of who already has two on, directly under them, right? So whatever whatever people you whatever whatever people you sponsor after those two will automatically be sent down. Okay, you bring it all down. So that the organic now the organic way is you place two people under you, then place two people under them. Oh no, but uh, uh, sorry. You just keep on sponsoring actually until there are two people. Now every for every new team member you directly bring in, the system will now the system will now place them under under your first two. Now there is also such a thing as called power legging. Okay, I don't know why they I don't know why they call this power legging. Okay, up to now I am still fucking through this, <laughs> right? They say you have to assign a weak leg and a power leg. Now, the power leg means uh, you put all your you put all your direct directly sponsored downlines there, one leg. Then on the weak leg. My mom's calling. Hey, so in the weak leg, you just put uh, one of your own, uh, which is uh, in your name. So you just put it there. It's called power legging. Now, the disadvantage of this one is is this. This is the one. This is the one disadvantage I saw. What if the members you brought in and placed on your power leg stop growing, or they quit the business altogether? What happens to that power leg now? Nothing. 
it's go it goes nowhere right your business will go nowhere so <clears throat> so with those uh with the knowledge of those two methods in mind i repeat my burning question if you're a network marketer under a binary compensation plan do you prefer using the organic way of growing your business or do you use power legging my answer it may surprise you my answer is both both okay now i recently uh recently put up a blog post about this okay i'll leave a link in the description below okay stop for it there i explained there that there's no such thing as a power leg but there is a self-sponsored leg and the organic leg all right here's how it goes now if you're in a binary compensation plan you have to assign a an organic leg and a self-sponsored leg right the organic leg is the one you develop. All your directly sponsored downlines go there. That's where you place them. That's where you place them. All of it. And well, the system, they just assign, they just uh, assign the system on how, on, how, on how the organic leg will look like, right? Now, the self-sponsored leg, that's why it's called the self-sponsored leg because there are some companies that allow you to open more than one account take advantage of that that is where the self-sponsored leg comes into play now whatever account you open that's where you place them okay that's where you place them now i don't want to call it power legging okay but to some of you it it may sound like power legging but it's actually not right because there are there there's still the organic method being used. The organic method is still being used there. That is for the organic, again, for the organic leg. Okay? You only place yourself in the self-sponsored leg only to, well, if, if you have extra funds. Okay? If you have extra funds. But the first, your first entry into the self-sponsored leg, you have to, you have to save some money for that. You have to save some money for that just to um, technically balance, right? Balance your network in the eyes of the system. Now, I actually delved into that in the blog post. Again, link in the description below. Okay. Mm, what else should we, what else should you know about organic versus power legging? Well, that's my, that's basically my answer on it, right? Use both. The binary compensation plan, you won't see its potential if you do not use both of those at the same time. That's why in my blog post, I said there's an organic leg and a self-sponsored leg. There's no such thing as power legging, right? If you're under a binary compensation plan, I strongly suggest to drop that term drop it like a bad habit right that's the old way of describing the binary compensation plan power legging drop it already drop it from your from your never marketing vocabulary already right now okay in punto right pronto so uh that's my stand on the subject and as always if it's a random thought it's open for discussion. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So guys, what's your take on, on this episode? Okay, on my burning question. Leave comments below, okay? Do not forget those comments, all right? I don't care if you, I don't care if you're, if you don't, if you don't push the like or dislike buttons. All I care about are the comments, all right? That's the real engagement right there, okay? That's the one I care about, the comments. So start commenting below. And, well, I repeat, I'm going to repeat the SOP right now. Hit subscribe, the bell, 
and comment done. Okay? Always remember that when it comes to my show. Right? So, from the Lost Bread South Books Mall, till next episode, thank you for coming in live with me and I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, money and life movement.